So, uh, really we good to go? Yeah. Yes, we're right there, thank you. Cool. So, uh, how have you enjoyed your stay in Australia thus far? Well, you know, we've only been in Australia for one day now. It's our first trip out here, and it's been awesome. We love it here. Um, you know, it's great to be here with all the cast, and it was a fun sh time shooting the movie. So this is this is the fun time where you get to promote it and uh, go travel the world. And you know, for us, this is this is the other side of the world for us. But it's been awesome, very familiar yet different. So. And you mentioned, I mean, getting the gang all or hanging out with a gang, mm -hmm. you've pretty much got every single character who's been in an American Pie film in this film. Yes. I mean, from Milf Guy number one to the Shermanator, yes. everyone's in there. I'm glad that you brought up Milf Guy number one. <laughs> I think yes. it's important that you should yes. be it up is. as much as possible. Exactly. exactly. And, uh, I mean, how, in terms of getting everyone back, I mean, how daunting was that, or how easy was it? Well, you know, there's, you know, when, when we first signed on to do the movie and we were talking in the studio, we felt like, you have to, let's bring everybody back. Because, you know, for fans of the movie, there hasn't been an American Pie for a long time. And in the last one, it was missing sort of almost half the, the cast from the first. So we just thought, bring them all back. I mean, if you're going to bring back 80 yeah. percent, bring back 100 percent. And then, you know, at that stage, you know, in terms of the difficulty bringing them back, it's really just about money and schedules. Some people have TV shows. And, we, you know, luckily we found uh, a couple months and of, of time where we could get everybody in there. So I mean, the big thing for us was, uh, you know, we were just hu such huge fans of this franchise, and particularly that first movie that, uh, you know, whenever we got the opportunity to, to meet with the actors and sort of tell them what we had in mind with the storyline, uh, we felt, they felt our excitement mm -hmm. and we felt their excitement in turn. And, and it was always just a good collaboration with all the actors there to, to bring these characters to life, but now in their 30s. I mean, how did you both get involved with this in the first place? Well, you know, we have known, uh, you know, we had first heard about the, the project, American Pie Reunion, from our friend John Cho, who is uh, Harold in the Harold and Kumar movies. And yeah. he said, you know, they're thinking about making a new one. He found out from one of the, the producers. And we just were excited as fans. We, we, we didn't think that they were going to approach us necessarily. We just, we were excited that they were thinking about putting the movie together. And then we got a call from our agent saying, listen, they, they were wondering if you guys would like to, you know, pitch for it and we were like yeah absolutely and we we got off the phone and we realized you know what this is like the perfect movie for us right now because we're at that age we're in our like early 30s where you're having your first like kind of high school reunion and you know going through the phase in life that that these characters would be going through and that was the, the you know, one of the reasons why we love the original American Pie was we were the target audience for that first movie yeah. we were we were you know young and going through all the stuff that those characters were so you know, we just we got a pitch together for the movie, talked about all the different things, and when we sat down with the studio, um, this is like in early 2010, so it's been like two years now, but uh, they just were, they could see how passionate we were and that we were hardcore fans, and they were just like, go for it, you know, and it was a great experience. And when you were writing it, I mean, did you <clears throat> always have an idea of where you wanted these characters to be? at that stage in life, it, it, obviously they're it, more mature now. Well, you know, it's funny because a lot of the stuff that, that ended up on the screen, we came up with like the first few hours that we started talking about this movie. Because, uh, you know, we, we uh, the, really it was an exercise in taking characters that you know and love and just aging them and, and trying to, we didn't want to like go crazy and all of a sudden Jim's in a biker gang or something weird that doesn't make sense. I mean, the, the core to the, these movies and why people connect with them is because of the relatability. So instead of Jim being that sexually frustrated high school guy who's so sexually frustrated he has sex with a pie, he becomes Jim, the sexually frustrated married guy with a kid. Yeah. And so we, you know, J Stifler, he's the guy who was like the main jerk who threw all the parties, the popular kid in high school. Now he's the guy who peaked in high school. So it's just sort of taking these characters and aging them and then making some of the bigger choices. Things like, you know, we made the decision to have it where Jim's mother passed away a few years ago uh, because we like the idea of freeing Eugene Levy up and, and having him, uh, allowing him to be a part of the fun in a much bigger way and the potential pairing of Jim's dad and Stifler's mom in scenes together. There were, there were a variety of things that we sort of thought of that first day that, uh, that you now see on the screen. And uh, you mentioned the pie there. Obviously, the, all of the films are known for their outrageous moments. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how much fun was it kind of coming up with what you could put in this film and then were you ever worried how far you could go? You know, 
it's it's so much fun for us. It's one of the things that we really enjoy doing in this business, and um, you know, coming up with outrageous comedy moments. You know, a lot of times people ask or wonder, like, well, you know, is it tough with you know, movies like The Hangover and, and different movies that, that are outrageous. Like, has it been done? Is there anything more to shock? And the, people can always be shocked, you know? I mean, it, it, you just have to find the right, the right situation. And that's part of the fun is figuring out that new shit joke, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. that, that, Bring it on next yeah, yeah, exactly. The, 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 new, the new sexual, you know, embarrassing joke. And, you know, the, the biggest trick is doing it in a way that it's connected to who the character is. Because if you look at, you know, some, some comedy sequels over time, you know, even in some of the other American Pies, at, at a certain point there's a couple, you know, comedy moments where it's just trying to shock you. Mm -hmm. And the, the best moments in the American Pie movies are when the, the comedy is like rooted in the character. So you know, Jim being frust sexually frustrated, or or Jim getting caught, you know, doing something, or Eugene uh, Levy's character just being embarrassing. You know, if you could come up with something outrageous that stays true to that character, you know, it, it's familiar to fans, but also you know, it's surprising and different. And were there any moments from your own high school reunions? that you drew from for these certain moments? You know, we've never been to our high school reunion. It's funny, it never <laughs> came together for our class. This was our reunion, you know, yeah, this was a, Yeah, it's funny, it never came together. So, you know, there was no uh, crazy uh, set piece where uh, in, in our real lives where mm -hmm. we had to sneak a, a naked girl into her home. Uh, didn't have to do that. Uh, you know, never, no, we've, neither of us have ever taken a pot lid and smushed our, <laughs> our penises against it. Really? So, yeah, no, so the, these are just things that we, we dreamt up and haven't lived, haven't quite lived. Yes. Cool. Maybe one day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. I think that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, thank hey, you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your yes. stay.